What's up, Flame Nation? Y'all see that title? Y'all know what we chatting about today, right? Y'all know we about to get it? So let's get it. Let's jump into this video. I'm looking rough around the edges right now. I need my hair done and a haircut, but I'm not doing nothing. And probably till next week. Or probably this weekend. I don't know, probably next week. I got a lot of stuff going on. My brother's birthday this weekend. My best friend's birthday the weekend after. You feel me? So I'm going to be looking rough around the edges until then. So y'all don't be talking mess about me. But if you're new to my channel, I appreciate you for tuning into this video. But you have to subscribe. You got to hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a banger. And I'm very consistent when it comes to the banging <laughs> videos dropping. You feel me? My eye at you. So y'all can see from the title, man. Oh, to all you guys, Flame Nation, y'all already know what y'all got to do, man. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all drop a comment below. Make sure y'all share this video. You feel me? Let's get it lit. What is they doing over there? All right, but y'all see the title, man. So today, I'm just going to be telling you guys some things stud shouldn't do. Um, a lot of things that I'm going to say could actually relate to everybody. You feel me? Not even just a stud shit. People, period. You get what I'm saying? But since I think I got a question or two in here that don't relate to all you guys, then that's why I titled it Things Studs Shouldn't Do. But again, some of these things apply to all y'all but guess what if you don't do these things then it don't apply to you at all studs don't get y'all boxes all in a bunch taking everything so personal you know what i'm saying just a topic i picked you feel me and just felt like let's chat i know we chat i know i still want y'all thoughts so the first thing flame nation studs should not do is pillow talk we don't do that we don't pillow talk we don't sit up there and chop our exes up or none of that you feel me i know some people might and it's just don't just apply to studs this applies to anybody who is just walking me on my car y'all they always i don't even know why i always park over here but anyway um this apply to anybody too though you know what i'm saying don't be pillow talking don't be chopping your ex up i was never the type to pillow talk with nobody that i'm dealing with and chop none of my exes up i don't even like talking about none of my exes like when a relationship over you get what i'm saying like who does that like if i'm with somebody and we chilling or whatever i don't even want to talk what are we talking about my ex for now if the conversation come up and of course you want to be like what happened with you and your ex you know what i'm saying because everybody want to know like what happened in your past relationships and cool but just to be sitting there chopping just to be sitting there chopping your ex up like who does that you know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Or speaking, speaking bad about your ex, like, regardless of how the relationship went and how y'all broke up, it does not matter. But I hate when people break up with somebody and get on social media and be downplaying them or with the next people, you know what I'm saying, around other people and just be talking bad about them, about she's shady, she did this, she did, just putting people business out there. Like, who does that? Can nobody ever say that they dealt with me and I pillow talked about my ex or I just talk down on my ex if anybody asks me like what happened with you on Ooh, it just didn't work you know what i'm saying what happened in our relationship have nothing to do with nobody else so don't be pillow talking that goes for anybody man don't be pillow talking and chopping your ex up like it's over with it's done move on you know what i'm saying i don't even know why people do that but people really do do that not just studs, just people period like i be on social media and be seeing people just be talking so bad about the person that they just broke up with but you were just with this person you get what i'm saying like i got a lot of bad things to say about people i done dealt with in my head but i'm not just going around just bluntly putting people business out there talking bad and can't nobody ever say that i ever did that with them either so unless something came up and we had a conversation but not just to be pillow talking nah you don't do that i don't do that so don't do that y'all now this is just for the studs 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 i'm talking to y'all right now you know what i'm saying i don't know how y'all move 
but just out of respect and just I don't know not even just out of respect but just period don't use your strap on multiple girls I don't know that that's just I don't know I don't know I don't know I can't honestly I never use a strap on different females I'm just gonna keep it 100 even though I have my share of women way back when when I did have my share of women they didn't really like strap 24 7 anyway so a strap was never just something I was just slanging through every female but when I what I could say is every relationship I've been in I always bought a new strap so I didn't have my old strap going into another relationship and then going into another relationship and another relationship and this strap then this strap then been through so many girls the same the harness and I just feel like at the end of the day you can wash your harness and stuff like that but it's still like juices and all that crazy stuff so at the end of the day man me personally I don't use the same strap on multiple girls honestly i didn't left straps once i broke up with somebody i didn't left a strap at the house and was just out because at the end of the day i'm about to buy another one anyway so you know girls be crazy and want to keep it cut it up and all type of stuff guess what you can have that because i'm not taking that with me anyway that's just me and i just feel like with studs period don't use your strap on multiple girls when you break up with somebody you know what i'm saying and you moving on go buy a new strap for your new girl you know what i'm saying and your new girl your next girl your next girl that's just me you know what i'm saying i don't know how everybody else roll but I just find that just not cool. Studs. Just go for studs and just go for anybody, period. Don't let your ex be popping up, you know what I'm saying, doing all type of crazy disrespectful stuff or calling your phone, blowing your phone up, being disrespectful and mess up something new that you have. Don't let that happen. Honestly, when you break up with somebody, give it a little time and don't be dibbing and dabbing in that because that's when exes become crazy and don't want to see you move on. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Think smart. Let your ex go. Let her go. Don't be going back and forth and trying to move on with somebody else because that become toxic. And then that ex person going to feel betrayed or whatever and going to come into the situation and run a new person off. So again, man, don't let your ex come into your new relationship or whatever and cause problems and run your ex off or any of that. You get what I'm saying? So just always, and I know that from past experience, just putting that out there you get what i'm saying i didn't did that and i'm saying i'm not perfect so i done had my share of being out of pocket you guys know that way back when so just telling you guys man that become that become a headache that become toxic you know what i'm saying you can bring a good person into your life and then you got your ex ruin it and it's just all type of drama so make sure before you move on you feel me that ex is in our place y'all done you know what i'm saying the doors is closed and then you move on just so it won't you know what i'm saying your ex won't come ruin nothing studs don't downplay another stud to get a shorty you get what i'm saying people probably do do that i, I believe niggas do that you feel me they'll, they'll downplay the next nigga just to you know what i'm saying smash the next girl like at the end of the day you know what i'm saying i know people i didn't talk to and be like oh you know such and such she said she knew you i don't be knowing how people know me half the time because i really don't be knowing i'd be knowing of people but not enough for them to say oh yeah you know what i'm saying like but i never downplay somebody else to be like oh oh yeah i know her she got kabooze this and this and that you know what i'm saying she got wag she always being heck of drama and this you know what i'm saying that's not my character you know what i'm saying because honestly i'm gonna get what i want with my looks and my personality and in the way that i vibe you get what i'm saying so again this go for anybody don't downplay the next person to try to smash shorty or get shorty or get a dude you know what i'm saying so you got to downplay another female or whatever i feel like it's like a whack it's like a lame and if you can't get shorty on your own then guess what you need to improve with what you're doing <laughs> i just feel like that's lame bro when people do that like that's that's real lame bro sucks don't be picking your hoes over bros we don't do that man that's, that's that's the bro code we don't we don't do that now i'm not saying if it's your shorty and it's your girlfriend you know what i'm saying you with the bros and she call you up like babe come home or whatever then it's like all right that, that's your girlfriend that's that's wifey damn near you know what i'm saying go home but if you just met this girl and we chilling and it's like every time we chilling or now you gotta skirt out and go with this girl you just met her so now you keep putting your bros on the 
on the sideline you feel me so it's like what's up we kicking it oh i'm going with shorty today bro you were just with shorty a couple of days ago like bro what's up like we always kick it like all the time now bro i'm not even seeing you like that like since you've been talking to shorty you know what i'm saying just always make sure you balance stuff out because at the end of the day these hoes come and go but your bro family you know what i'm saying friend best friend whatever gonna always be there so just make sure when somebody come into your life bro you don't be putting your hoes over bros we don't do that and this can go for everybody this on just have to just single out studs but of course you know what i'm saying studs or whatever don't be giving head to everybody you come across it's bad enough that we like have sex probably immediately when we come across people no lie you get what i'm saying doesn't mean that dang the mouth is just the same as the vagina but see like honestly it takes a lot for me to even do scissors with somebody like i can count on my hand honestly like that's really deep as well you feel me because that's just all type of juke y'all know y'all know where i'm going with that so at the end of the day you have your legs open my legs gonna be closed so that like that's like a condom yeah we got a condom on basically you feel me it's less juices but at the end of the day it's like hey that's just your mouth you know what i'm saying like i really have to be in a relationship with you rocking with you for a minute before i even can do that and i'm a head person but at the end of the day i just don't go around giving head to anybody like you smash a girl on the first second third night then you're giving her head the same night bro no we don't do that so make sure you don't be giving head to anybody and that's for anybody it's, this this goes to anybody don't be giving head to anybody and this is the last one studs don't be staying outside all night with your bros going out every friday saturday night even through the weekday and you stand out all night you got a girlfriend a wife whatever you get what i'm saying staying out to two three four o'clock in the morning club hours past club hours that's so disrespectful so make sure bro if you hanging out with your bros come back in at a decent time if i go hang out with my bros if we ain't at a club bro i'm back in the house by 11 12 maybe it depends on what we're doing it depends on where we at what we doing where we hanging at you know what i'm saying but two three four o'clock in the morning that's just mad disrespectful ain't nothing open that late if we at the club the club closed at what 1 30 145 something like that bro i'm ready to leave at 1 12 30 1 o'clock you feel me just out of respect don't be coming in the house super late but that wraps it up for this video again i appreciate you guys man for the love and support that i'm getting from the new subscribers old subscribers you know what i'm saying everybody that joined flame nation i appreciate you guys i love you if you're new to my channel check out other videos on my channel make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend man come check out my channel get this channel out there get this space out there i know how we doing and hey that just wraps it up for this video i love you guys man i appreciate you guys share this video as well man until the next video